At Gunadari, we've been trying to use the most up-to-date technologies, which includes drone usage. We've just started now to transition into a drone in a box where we've seen massive benefit to the MTS team as a whole and starting to drift into the operations team as well. The survey bot is Rocket DNA's drone in a box solution. What this allows for is automated drone missions. So we don't need a pilot or an observer on site. We have our pilots in remote operating centres in Perth and Adelaide who monitor the flights at all stages, can take manual control if they need to. It launches from the dock, as we call it, performs its mission, and then returns to the dock where it uploads its data and recharges the battery, which takes about half an hour, and then we're ready to go again for the next mission. This partnership between Rocket DNA, Rio Tinto and, and DJI has really been a great uh, opportunity for us to get our hands dirty and really to, to push the tech to its limits, you know, to see it in its natural environment, to understand the, the requirements and to really get the scope of really where this could go. We're conducting a three month trial and we're working with the mine technical services team on that. We use our drones for a, a number of applications definitely for 3D survey mapping and updating of 3D pit models. We've got the other departments now using them for panoramas, for video inspections, for drill and blast, post blast capture, also for inspections on berms and pit walls. We would have one of the biggest drone operations in Australia. We have over 200 registered drones. Just as many people operating those drones, we conduct, you know, on average approximately 2,000 flights a month. So that's a lot of aviation activity. So even if you moved a percentage of that into remote dock operations, you know, all of a sudden you've got less people that are interacting with a live pit environment, so it makes it safer. It also makes the airspace safer because you've got less drones operating in the airspace, so it's safer for crewed aircraft and it's safer for our current drone operations as well. So what we're really looking at doing here is, you know, really looking to automate those tasks for the operators on the ground. Really the idea is, is about automating that data capture element and really allowing the, the operators and the people on the ground to really focus on the, the actually the data analytics. Let the robots do, do the dangerous work, let the humans make the final decision, and that's really empowering. Well, productivity and safety will go hand in hand, so we don't have people going into the pit, and, but we're also getting more output or per flight than we do for the operator drone. We're quite excited, you know, over the, the next sort of you know, five to 10 years, how this is gonna scale up within not only Rio Tinto, but within worldwide, and essentially how to make people's lives a lot safer, simpler and easier. It's a new technology that's been seamless. It's been an easy trial to implement, and the options and growth that this can have to our site, to Rio Tinto as a whole, is really endless, exciting and great to be a part of the journey.